Hi guys, welcome to this second tutorial in this series of programming the Arduino. In this tutorial, we're gonna install the Arduino software. This Arduino programming environment is very easy to use. To write the sketch, which is the name that Arduino uses for the code that you write and upload to and run on an Arduino board to execute what you have specified. So let us download the software from the Arduino website. From the Arduino.cc, click on download. You need to download the correct version for your operating system. As we are using the Windows operating system, we're going to install the Windows version. For Mac and Linux users, they can also download their respective versions. For Windows users, you can either download the Windows installer or the Windows zip file for non-admin install. The Windows installer is basically an executable file that you'll need to install in your PC. You'll need an administrative right as a PC user to be able to install just like any other software. But with the Windows zip file, you don't need an administrative right, it's just a zip file. You don't have to install anything, you just download it to your desktop or any other place that you need. So let us download the Windows zip file. This screen is just to ask you for a contribution because as you know Arduino is an open source hardware and software. If you'd like to contribute to the Arduino development, you can choose the amount you wish to contribute or you can choose a different amount which is not displayed here. You can click contribute and download. In our case we're just gonna click just download. It's downloading the file. This is the file that you have downloaded then you have to extract it gonna click extract file here and that's all guys you don't need to install anything you just have to click on arduino.exe to run your program we are starting arduino and that is guys you can write your sketch let us download the windows installer as well click windows installer the same thing if you want to contribute you can choose the amount you wish to contribute for arduino development just gonna click just download it's downloading this is the file that you have just downloaded double click to start the installation then you'll have to proceed with the appropriate instructions on your screen we're gonna agree with the terms and conditions you can select whatever you want to install install Arduino software install the USB driver as well so we're gonna select everything click next you can specify the destination folder where you're gonna install Arduino. You can click on browse if you want to change the directory. You're just gonna install it in the default folder. Click install. You're gonna start extracting and then install. It says, Would you like to install this device software? This for the Arduino USB driver. Click install. Click install as well. The installation is completed. Click close. Let us start Arduino. Click on Arduino. And here you can write your sketch. So after installation, connect your Arduino Uno to your computer via the USB cable. Windows has automatically find the correct drivers and allocate a COM port number. In our case, COM8 was allocated to our board. So you must remember this port number could be different from computer to computer. To verify the correct port number which was allocated to your Arduino board, you can right click on my computer, click on properties, device manager, and under the port, you can see the our Arduino Uno has been allocated COM8. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make sure that we are using the correct board. Under the tools menu, board, select the correct board that you are using. In our case, we are using the Arduino Genuino Uno. And the other thing we're gonna do, we'll have to specify the, the correct COM port number. As our Arduino is connected to COM8, we're gonna select COM8. And now we are ready to write our first program. The Arduino IDE comes with a lot of example. We will open the blink example. Open files, examples, the basics, and click on blink. So this example is to turn on an LED for one second, then off for another second repeatedly. 
It says most Arduino have an onboard LED you can control. On the Uno and Leonardo, it is attached to digital pin 13. So we're just going to switch on and off the onboard LED, which is connected to pin 13 of the Arduino board. This button is called verify if you want to compile our sketch. So we're going to click on verify and if everything is fine, there is no error. It's going to compile successfully. It's compiling the sketch. The compilation was done successfully. This second button is to upload if you want to upload the sketch into your Arduino board so that it can execute whatever you have specified. I'm gonna click on upload. And the upload was done successfully. As, as you can see, the onboard LED is switching on and off at an interval of one second. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.